A rancher is a servant and a steward. Your job is to serve the land, the livestock, the wildlife. We had only been at the ranch for a short amount of time and one day there were literally monarch butterflies just hanging from the trees over the water in the grotto. It was amazing, it was so beautiful. We see fewer monarch butterflies moving through than we used to. There's still time to recover the monarch and it's incredibly vital to engage the participation of large numbers of farmers and ranchers from Texas to Minnesota. The Habitat Exchange is a new way, a very efficient way, a highly accountable way to invest in recovering the monarch and know your dollars are going into very effective conservation. Anything that we can do to improve habitat on the ranch for wildlife, pollinators, insects, we'd like to participate. It's a cost share program. Habitat management, reclamation work, restoration work, all of those things are very expensive. With Amy and George, we're going to start with a, a smaller scale effort and do some prescribed fire, uh, remove some of the undesirable woody vegetation, the mesquite, and then plant some of the desired nectar plants and, and milkweed for the monarch butterfly. We have that funding in hand from the EDF membership to get this project underway with the Greers. Folks from all different parts of the country have recognized the value of the Habitat Exchange. I want those people that are contributing to this project to know how grateful we are. It's really amazing. It's a big restoration project. It's gonna involve such huge areas and so many different properties and land all across the country. We do have a goal of restoring 800,000 functional acres of habitat for the monarch in the agricultural landscape. Getting back to 225 million monarchs, I'm very optimistic that with the, the interest and support that we have from the members and from agribusiness, food companies, the agricultural groups, that this is an achievable goal.